Hi, this is Nate from The Engine Company, and I'm going to show you a new command that we just added last sprint. It's called Loom Run Ouya. For those of you who are not familiar with Ouya, it's a $100 Android-based console for the television. We're really excited about the Ouya because it allows us to quickly get our creations on the biggest screen in the house. And with the Loom Game Engine, making games for the TV has never been easier. What I'm going to show you is a platformer example that we have been working on this sprint. We're especially excited about the platform example because all the art you're going to see is going to be released publicly and can be used in your own games. So as you can see, I'm jumping through and I can't quite make this last jump. Because this is the Loom game engine, I can very easily open up my favorite tile editor, in this case, TileEd, which is available from mapeditor.org. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab these little cloud tiles and paste them twice. And I'm also gonna go grab the collision layer and I'm going to add some one-way only tiles to collide with. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and as you can see on my television, on the Ouya, my clouds immediately appear in the game without a reload, without a redeploy. I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of one-way tiles to the collision map and save it. And as you can see in the game, I can now jump on those collidable tiles. I'm gonna go ahead and trigger the collision so you can see them. Now I'm gonna go through back tile and let's add some art so the user doesn't wonder why they're floating in the middle of nowhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of red tiles, a couple of yellow, toss in a blue, and some green for good measure. Go ahead and save it. And then immediately I can grab my controller and jump back in and start jumping on these. I'll keep going through the level and see that there's this really awesome castle here at the end. But I can't quite climb it the way I want to through these one-way tiles. So I'll quickly open up Sublime Text and go into my Platform Mover class and go ahead and change the gravity on the y-axis to just 0.49 because it's just barely missing that collision that I need. It'll automatically recompile and restart the virtual machine running on the Ouya. I'm going to run back and as you can see I'm terrible at platformers. But I make my way back to the castle, I can jump up top and make it all the way to the top of the castle although it's a little bit annoying that I can't see the top of the castle. So let me go in and make a change to turn track vertically on, save, and do a recompile. Automatically is deployed to the Ouya, and now when I jump, you can see that the camera tracks vertically. <laughs> and that I'm really bad at platformers. All right, this time, all right, good, I got through. Going back to the castle, and now I can jump up to the top of the castle and yay, I can see everything. I'm going to go ahead back to the beginning so we can see one of the other really cool features of the Loom Game Engine with the Ouya. I have some additional tile sheets that match up in the same positions as the tile sheet that I'm currently using with the grass. So I'm going to run a really quick command, and the command is going to overwrite the existing file that we currently are using for our tile set with another tile set that is more cold and icy. So I'm going to run a cp command, overwrite the file, and then I'm also going to say touch the file so that the asset agent knows that it changed. Obviously, if I save the file from Photoshop, Loom would pick up the change and send it no problem. And there we go. Now I have the same tile map, but different tile set, and I can see that it's much colder with the really cool ice blocks. The collisions are all the same. And there's my ice castle where the princess is not at. She's in a different castle. Going back to the beginning, I'm going to revert back my change, so git checkout to the original PNG. And as soon as I do that, you can see that it automatically flips back to the old tile set. And that is my brief whirlwind tour of the platform example on the Ouya. Thanks for watching.